So the first word, overcame, overcome, nikau, means to subdue, to conquer, to overcome, to prevail, and to get the victory. That's what he says, to him that overcometh, right? And they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. The word testimony, strangely enough, is the Greek word martyria, where we get the word martyr. So they, you get it? the word of their testimony, the word of the martyr. In other words, you're going through it, but you're speaking. In other words, you've already considered yourself dead. This ain't going to hurt you. This ain't going to cause you to stop or anything else. You're, you're immune to it, and you just keep walking. And you, but the word of your testimony is what you are saying in that situation, all right? So here's a, now the word martyr. It means to record, to report. It's testimony. It's witness. It literally means evidence given in a judicial trial. Think about that. So whenever you are given the word of your testimony from the word of God, you are giving evidence on your behalf of a judicial trial. Why? Because the accuser of the brethren is the prosecutor. We just read that. Isn't that right? And so he's going to try to accuse and all that kind of stuff. So your testimony is what you are giving evidence on your side. What is your testimony? The blood of the lamb. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they say at all. You know what your answer is? Blood of the lamb. Yep. Blood of the lamb. That's right. right? That, that, see, that's better than saying, I plead the fifth. Right? Because how many know when you plead the fifth, everybody knows you're guilty? I know it's not legally that way, but that's the way pretty much everybody sees it. Because why? Because you don't want to incriminate yourself. Okay? So, but here, gets us, whenever you are saying what Jesus has said about you and what he has said about the blood of the lamb, then guess what? At that point, that's the word of your testimony. That's all you guys say. Oh, blood of the lamb, son of the blood. That's blood, 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 blood. Just sling blood everywhere. Just sling and blood. Amen? So, just, all right. Now, so, finish with this. What, here's the real question. What is the word of your testimony? Here it is. It is you, I'm just going to read you what I wrote. It is you saying what God says about you and your situation. That's the word of your testimony. It is you binding what you should bind, which includes what? Sin, sickness, disease, lack. Anything in those categories, you should be binding in the one way of looking at it. It is also you loosing what you should loose. Well, what should you loose? Righteousness, healing, health, uh, abundance, prosperity, however you want to word it. So literally, the word of your testimony is simply you agreeing with God about what he has already said about you in your situation. Isn't that the simplest thing in the world? Yeah. Now, the, okay, it's, simp- it's like saying, you know, it's easy to remember you're supposed, well, it's hard to remember is the way the saying goes. Hard to remember you're supposed to drain the swamp when you got alligators all around you, right? So in the middle of the fight is when you have to remember your testimony. Remember that word, right? So how do you do that? I will say the Lord. What does Psalm 91 say? He that abides in the shadow of the Most High, right? Now, now get this. It says, I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge. He is my strength. In him do I trust. Isn't that right? Notice Notice you can say that, doesn't matter what the problem is. You do not have to speak directly about the problem. Most people speak about the problem. And because they're talking about the problem, the problem gets bigger. So they talk about the lack, they talk about the problem, they talk about the sickness, they talk about the doctor's report, they talk about the bills, all that kind of stuff. No, no, no. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge. So no matter what situation, you know, you got, you got bills coming in, uh, they say they're going to take your house, guess what? The Lord is my refuge, right? He will vindicate me. Why? Because he is my refuge. He is my strength. When I feel my weakest, what do I say? I'm strong. Why? Because I take his strength. And I take on his strength in my inner man, and I am powered, right? I become strong in the power of the Lord. Amen? Amen. So, does that help anybody today? Yes. Why? So you overcome by the blood of the lamb, it's already done, and by the word of your testimony, which is your part. Amen. So you have to testify. Yes. Amen? Amen? And all you got to do to do that is find out what God has said about you. And I can tell you right now, according to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, he has said every good thing about you 
that he can say. And he's not saying it based on how you've been. He's saying it based on what he made you when you got born again. Amen? Amen. And that's what Ephesians 1, 3 says, that he tells us thanks be to God. And he tells us there that uh, he has already blessed us with every or all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And that word blessed means to speak well about. So he has already said about every blessing you need, yes and amen.